Hello guys, welcome to another episode. I see a lot of questions on uh, one of my videos where I bleed the system. I think it was when I replaced the radiator. So now, this is a 2000 Accord. This is gonna apply pretty much for every car. Every time that you replace your radiator or your thermostat, you have to bleed the system. In this vehicle, the only thing that you need to do, and I'm gonna try to explain it because there is a confusion on this process. Once you replace your thermostat or your radiator, you need to bleed the system. Uh, people have been asking me on um, how to bleed it and when to bleed it. So right there is a 12 millimeter screw that you have to open it. You just have to open that bleeder screw that is on top of the thermostat housing. Open it up. The car needs to be off. Obviously, when you replace the thermostat or the radiator, you're gonna start putting antifreeze on the radiator. Once you have the coolant on the radiator all the way up, uh, you're gonna open the bleeder screw, 12 millimeter. Open it, and then you're gonna start putting more antifreeze on the radiator. At the beginning, air and coolant is gonna start to come out. So that means that you remove all the air out of the system, remember. The car needs to be off, uh, open it, and start putting more coolant into the radiator, and you're gonna start seeing air and coolant coming out of it. Once you start seeing only coolant coming out of the bleeder screw, close it, and your system is bled. So, a lot of confusion on when to do it, or how to do it. So, right now, it looks like my radiator needs some antifreeze. And what I'm gonna do is just put some more, crack that bleeder, open and you're gonna see um, coolant coming out. Once that happens, uh, your system is ready and you remove all the air out of the system. So let me show you. I'm gonna open the blur screw now. If you can see right there, coolant is coming out. I'm gonna put more into the radiator. You see that? Once you see that, coolant is coming out, no air. My radiator is full, you just need to close it. Close it, get it tight, and that's how you bleed the system. If you can see there, my radiator is full, and that's the only thing you need to do to bleed the system. At the beginning, if you replace everything, you're gonna see air coming out. Just keep putting more antifreeze until you see only coolant coming out. Close it, get it tight, and that's it. You don't have to open it all the way. Now, in case that you don't see anything coming out, maybe the bleeder screw, uh, it has some debris on, on top of it. Just remove it, clean it, or if for some reason it's nothing coming out, I uh, replace it. So guys, I hope this answers all the questions about bleeding the system. Uh, this is my 2000 Accord, but this applies pretty much for every vehicle. I hope you like this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.